Welcome to the channel. This weekend we're celebrating Dad's birthday on a little motorcycle camping trip. We are going over to Sisters, cutting over uh, east on OBDR Route 4. We're going to hit the family cabin and then head on to the Ochoco National Forest. Come along. had some tasty tacos at Rancho Viejo and some Tres Arroyos from Three Creeks. Now we are going to hit what you see here is OPDR Route 4 and go get on some dirt. Let's go. Hi dears. Oh it's a buck. It's a it's a buck baby. All right we finally got off the pavement into this beautiful wide double track. I mean, I don't even know if you call this double track. It's pretty much a goddamn road, <laughs> but uh, whatever. <laughs> it's still uh, nice enough. Nah, me. Hi, horses. to our top secret location. Dad's peeing over there. Are you peeing? Were you peeing over there? Yeah, I was. Gross. Oh, we're gonna hide from the rain tonight. It's already starting to rain. And then uh, we're gonna head out in the morning towards the Ochoco National Forest. See if we can go, go get stuck in some snow or something. So we're gonna have some libations tonight and hunker down have a nice fire if it's not raining maybe do some repairs what happened over here john yeah. did that madras tornado come through <laughs> yeah. tornado. you know it could help if you wanted it no that's right i got it what if i just get real rusty without yeah that helps a lot hey scorpion bro what's up buddy from the family cabin not exactly motorcycle camping but having some luxuries once in a while ain't such a bad thing and here's the view you got a rainbow score chef chris here is cooking for the entire camp you brought all this on your bike yeah all, th all this meat all this meat all this, how many eggs? Six. Did you really bring all that? No, I just found it on the ground here. I'm <laughs> not sure if the eggs are fertile or not. That's a lot of meat for a motorcycle, I'm just saying. Oh, that's for a, everybody. oh, that's potato and meat. That's potatoes and meat. Yeah, your potatoes, you brought potatoes. But that's some seriously good motorcycle yeah, camp for real man. stuff, man. Jesus. Enough for 10 people. L-I-V-I and living. The walk of shame. Hey, John, aren't you supposed to be packing? I am packed. Are you? You're fast packer. Yeah, I'm packing. Want to go with tickle? <laughs> After TRF is all packed and ready to go. Lost the rock strap, so improvised. Yeah, buddy. There he is. Mr. America. Hi, John. Hi, Ed. You ready to ride? I'm ready to go, Ed. Let's go. Ready to ride, Dadimal? You betcha. All day. Yeah, I'm out. So last night uh, got a little rainy, but we, we took some reprieve under the patio and we had a propane fire pit. And got to hang out around there, have some beers. So about uh, 10 30, 11 o'clock or so, and then hit the hay. 
and today we should luck out with no rain. Colin is going to uh, peel off away from us and, and uh, his neck is kind of bothering him I guess. That sucks. Kind of a bummer. But uh, we will continue on. John, are you peeing? We're in Henderson Flat here. This is actually an OHV area, and there's lots of nice campsites all around, and uh, just some real nice, flowy, easy, double track kind of stuff. Super nice little area. You know, definitely need to come back and camp here for sure. Okay, now we're getting on 26 and heading to Prineville. We're gonna gas up here and get some groceries at Thriftway and be on our way up into the hills. We're passing DQ, no! Oh man. Waterly atcha, waterly atcha, doodly do. We got gas now, time for some beer. Thank you, kind sir. Howdy. How are you doing? Real good, how are you been? What are you doing in here, John? Hey. Ah, hey, do I know you? No. There you are, miss. It's a trick, huh? Mm-hmm. Do I, do I look as handsome as I do in real life? I didn't think you yes, yes. That's a good yeah. nut shot. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We're all gassed up. Got plenty of food, beer, Red Bull. We got Dad. We got John. We're gonna go head up into the hills. Ooh, a little Velociraptor. 12.25 and we're on our way to the hills. Nice. The K Creek Road. It's a pretty nice little road. Yay, we made it into the green. It's really nice in here and there's a lot of um, really nice big flat camp spots where you can pull trailers and stuff into. Well, it's official. We hit snow, people, at about 5,500 foot elevation. I'm not interested in playing with snow, and you guys shouldn't be either. F800 SP, F800 snowplow. Yeah, you gotta pay, you gotta, you definitely need to not take your eyes off of where you're going. You go first. No, no, you go first. We'll see. Uh, yeah, watch these puddles because you're gonna get a good douchin. There was a couple puddles here that were pretty nasty last time. I I got the water that went that went all the way up inside of my helmet. These will swallow you up, boy. Oh yeah, when they have current, that's bad. Two pillars trailhead. And this is the picnic site down here. Should we go look at this? Oh, uh, there's a... There's a cop. What? There's a cop. Howdy! Dad's gonna get caught and get busted by the cops. Ooh, that looked deep there, John. Wow, this is cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right by that picnic a table would be perfect, dude. There you go. This really ain't so bad if we just go like under 10, mil 10 miles an hour. Goddamn puddle again. I'll just go slow through it.
어. 야, 여기가 조금 더 높아, but I figure we might as well like go back down and camp at like lower elevation probably. Yeah, it'd be a lot warmer. I say we just turn around now. Yeah, let's do that. I don't want to get Yep, 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 yeah, let's do that. Yeah, uh-huh. Wow, okay, we're really smart. Stop where we're ahead. It dropped about 20 degrees at least or more. And uh, it's kind of windy up here, so we're, <coughs> we're going to go back down to where it's warmer, more protected, less water, and uh, find a good camping spot for the night. Nice work, Johnny. You're going too fast. All right, crazy animal. <laughs> The key is to keep your eye on the fucking road on this shit. All right, I'm kind of off course right now. We're, it's um, 2.27. We decided to try to find camp. So I'm taking these little offshoots before the big bikes come down so we can see how hard they are. But uh, this is not a good bike. A good, this is not a good trail for a big GS at all. Yeah, we just need to work our way towards the bottom. Whoa, dude. We gotta sleep good tonight. That's a little slippy on the tip. Oh, my poor, my poor asshole. Oh. All right, we found our spot. Sweet little spot down by the creek. The, um, the ground's kind of wet and whatnot down here, but that's okay. Um, at 6,000 foot elevation, it was really swampy, muddy, slick. Uh, but down here about 3,500, it's pretty nice. We got this uh, nice creek by camp. Pretty sweet. Got the fire pit already. Over yonder. And some flat spots for tents. I think this will work just fine. I'm trying to get myself away from you guys. Why do you want to get away from us? For the snorage. The snorage? Do you snore that bad? Oh my god, it's so bad. Hey, hey, just do an impression of you snoring. How do I know? I'm asleep. I could here's me here's me sleeping. No, it's no, it's worse than that, for sure. Don't believe him. Time to unpack. John over here just found a Sasquatch nest. Yeah, that's definitely. And Holy you make, you Jesus, make, dude. Put your chairs out of that. Oh my God. You can make furniture. Do you just run backward to the woods? Just grab a handful of it. I was going to get up to come help you, but you already got like a quarter of wood. I'm done. There's more of them. No, there was piles over there. Great job, guys. This is a good getting out of the chair stick. Yeah? Now it's even better. Ooh. Oh, wait. There's John, I think you should get one more batch and that should there do it. There is one more over there. Somebody else can go get it though. That's money, dude. There's a couple good logs right there. There's a bigger one over there. We're gonna have a yeah. nice fire. Yeah, you're gonna need to go get it. They actually have a kind of a cool campfire ringy cookie thingy. Uh -huh. Over there, it's like a little wire spool on the ground, and then it's up about six inches with another one. Hold a pan on. Oh, wow. Should we, you want to move our camp over there? Fuck no. <laughs> I mean, right back up. 
Oh my gosh, no. Okay, it is time to go find some firewood. We are running short. up and it's a sharp bank to get around that turn and then set yourself up for where you want to go through especially with our bike mm -hmm. that's what i was like oh fuck, i don't want to hit that i don't want to do that but, you know and you got sucked in I, that's when i screwed up because mm -hmm. i was like my brain was thinking too much about it and dad over here is marinating some meats and burning my sausage burning your sausage where do your marinated meat go You're in the cooler. oh he just all of a sudden decides hey why don't i just take that steak i got We'll marinate it for a little bit. All right, we are preparing stick steak, and Dad is going to be working on some potatoes, some mashed potatoes, some mashed potatoes. Uh, but what? Tell us about your potato delivery system. We're going to roll with the newest invention known to man. It is called the tater sack. We are going to put it in a hermetically sealed, very safe, eco-friendly bag and cut the corner like a freaking cake mixing bag. And you will have a potato sending device that will change the world. Suck on that. <laughs> <laughs> we are taking uh, instant potatoes. Not camping, it's about half and half, pretty close. And uh, I'm gonna pour a cup of boiling water in each of these and just mix it in the bag. Cut don't, the corner. Don't get caught with those while you're driving home. And, uh, cut the corner. Eat it right out of the bag. Brilliant! Science! He blinded me with science. We put a man on the moon, at least we can eat potatoes out of a bag. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they ate potatoes out of a bag, so we're like astronauts. Mm -hmm. Same difference. Total science experiment. This is like breaking bad. Mm-hmm. We are breaking bad right now. Breaking bag. Breaking bag. Look at that. Easy. Mush it up. Oh, yeah, you should mush yours. You mush my taters. I'm going to mush your taters because your taters are going go to go <laughs> to spud. Oh, wow. They're See? already turning into... You got to mush them. Ow, fuck. Suck. 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 <laughs> That's some good tater motion you got going on yeah, there. You should have done that from day one, Mayor Boy. Are you sure you're not going to get like BPA or something? Or What's your, BPA? Your butthole's going to fall out. Association? <laughs> Fuck, that's hot. You have, you have such strong hands. Mine was a lot easier to do. <laughs> you shouldn't have let yours go so long, man. Really? Yeah. Well, see, it's not all mixing. Oh, no. Oh. It well, is now. Let because me of my super well, Grab that, sucker. <laughs> grab that. It's Those are hot taters. <laughs> Those are hot potatoes. <laughs> hey, okay. you hey, you're soaking. However it works, hey, man. you want some Montreal in that? Here, is that oh, yeah. mine? Yeah. Oh, get some I was going to put some uh, slap your mama in mine. Say when. It's yours. <laughs> so this bag of taters is super hot. So if you're ever in an emergency situation, you can just put this in your sleeping bag. If you're too cold, you just snuggle up next to your taters. And then you have a little snack when you wake up. It's not coming out. Is your hole not big enough? Ow, ow, ow. Did you have to cut a bigger potato hole? I think so. Mmm. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> what? That's freaking good. You just suck it out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like your salad sucker earlier. Mm. Donnie good. doesn't know about the salad sucker. The world will. <laughs> oh. It's good. Do you approve this potato? 
I proved that potato. Now the whole design behind the, the game changer design. suck it potato bag or whatever you call it was to be delivered in tandem with meat. So, and also you can frost your meat. Frost your meat? See? Oh, it's hot. <laughs> That's money, dude. Okay, it's time to test it. Start with the meat. Mm. Oh, the potato. Mmm. The frost your meat. Mm. Oh! <laughs> he frosted his phone. My, my potato's on my phone. Mmm. Mm. Good morning. Good night's sleep. Got a little chilly last night, so I threw in a couple extra down layers. I'm glad I had those, because I needed them. And uh, had the nice sound of the crick down yonder. I mean down yonder, to lull us to sleep. So that was nice. And uh, yeah, today we're gonna Go down 26 and uh, find a, a back way home. I think we might hit like cross over and hit Shanico. Maybe Antelope and Shanico or something like that if we're in that neck of the woods. I don't know. I don't really have my bearings yet. I got to look at a map. And then uh, get home and get back to the wifey's. Have as many as you like. What do you, what do you like <laughs> huh? Oh, trigger? Yeah. Oh. I was asking if I could have Whoa, fucking God. I was fucking looking at John. <laughs> it's all John's fault. Thank you, Ed. God damn it, John. I did ask for one. Oh, that looks kind of volcanic now. <laughs> <sighs> I got some Starbucks. So do I. No, I don't. Just add it to the list of jet boil fails. <laughs> so I should not put the coffee in prematurely. That's the problem. But I want it to release its exotic aromatic notes of cacao, earth, cacao, bark. That one just put the edge off just nicely. Perfect. <clears throat> Yeah. So John decided that he's going to start his own biker barista drive through for adventure bikers called Buck Knuckle Baristas. <laughs> and he's going to, what are you going to wear? Work on the name. Definitely right. think John needs to work on his time though, because each cup is going to take about, what, 15 minutes to prepare? But it's what? worth the wait, isn't it? I don't know. You're going to have to do some. But if you put a few Buck Knucklers in there working on it, they could have a production line going. Buck knucklers. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be in your buck knuckle production line. <laughs> Just doesn't sound right, does it? No. Streamline, modern design. It's a pretty cool press. Are you impressed? Yes. Impressed. Yeah. Uh, you're on an angle there, man. I know. Take some serious dun, dun, muscle there. What if you put too much water in it? It goes out all over. Yeah, that's what I thought. So you gotta get just the you right three seat, pour. You, have a, you, you just have a technique and a method of your madness for the perfect size your, cup, right? Your plungering is much harder than my plungering for the jet boil. 
Ooh, I like that last little puff of steam. Look at that. Long, it's perfect, bro. Delicious. That is all she wrote. What's that, John? It's a gummy worm. <laughs> I made it all special for you, John. Did you put that in there? I had him put worms in it for you. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, jeez, that's funny. Did that scare you? <laughs> I didn't see how he got there. Did you spit it out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.